Stephen Tater Eatinger, known by his stage name Tate Stevens, is an American country music artist, who won the second season of the U.S. The X Factor in 2012, securing a $5 million recording contract with Psycho Music and RCA Records Nashville. After touring with the band for several years immediately after high school, Stevens returned to Missouri to settle down and raise his young family, working for the city of Belton repairing roads. He joined a local band in 2005 and formed his own band in 2008, releasing an independent album and touring on weekends and holidays. In early 2012, he auditioned for The X Factor, progressing through the various stages of the competition, until winning on December 20, 2012. He released his debut album in 2013. Early life, Stevens moved from Texas to Belton, Missouri as a child and grew up there, graduating from Belton High School in 1994. His father Steve had played the drums with a country band in Texas. He also was a construction worker. Music career. Equals 1994 a Euro 2000, career beginnings and Dixie Cadillacs equals, Stevens adopted his stage name when he was a young singer in the 1990s. He released a single in 1994 entitled It Sure Looks Good On You. Immediately after graduating high school, he began to tour as lead singer for a country band of five called the Dixie Cadillacs. The band released an album in June 1996 under Calf Creek Records under their band name. After touring for several years, Stevens returned to Missouri to settle down and raise his young family, working for the city of Belton, Missouri taking a construction job and later a job in the city's water department and later its street department repairing roads. Equals 2005 a Euro 2008, Outlaw Junkies and Tate Stevens Band Equals, around 2005, he became the lead singer of the band Outlaw Junkies with Steve Cochin and Robert Harmon. He left that band in 2008 to form the Tate Stevens Band, a six-man ensemble that has toured extensively in the Midwest on weekends and vacations. He also wrote songs and released an independent album in 2008. Equals 2012, The X Factor Equals, in 2012, Stevens auditioned in Kansas City, Missouri for season two of The X Factor singing Randy House as Anything Goes in front of judges L.A. Reid, Demi Lovato, Tony Spears and temporary judge Louis Walsh, who was sitting in for Simon Cowell. He was selected to go to boot camp where he had to sing for survival singing Nobody Knows against Willie Jones. He was selected to be part of the judges' houses stage competing in the top 24 in the over 25s category and was mentored by L.A. Reid. He sang back at one at Reid's home in front of him and guest judges Justin Bieber and Scooter Braun. Reed ultimately chose Stevens as a part of his top four. On the first live show he sang Tough, a Craig Morgan song and was saved by his mentor L.A. Reed. On week two of the live shows, he performed Bon Jovi's song Wanted Dead or Alive, and was declared the top of the popular vote in the competition. On week three live show he performed From This Moment by Shania Twain again placing as top vote-getter for a second week in a row. On week four live show he performed I'm Already There finishing second in popular vote to Carly Rose Sonenkla. He would remain in second place during the fifth week of live shows as well. During week six live show Stevens went unplugged with Livin' on a Prayer by Bon Jovi and If Tomorrow Never Comes by Garth Brooks. His performance landed him back at the number one spot again. On the show's final week, Stevens performed Tomorrow by Chris Young and was crowned the winner of The X Factor. Tomorrow became the official winner's single. Performances on The X Factor, Stevens performed the following songs on The X Factor. Equals 2013 A Euro Present, Tate Stevens Equals, Stevens was scheduled to move to Nashville, Tennessee in early 2013 to begin working on his debut album, with work on the album reported to begin as soon as January 2, 2013. Stevens has stated that he would like to make a predominantly fun record, and hoped to co-write some of the songs. He stated he would like to work with Luke Led and Kim Tribble. Stevens was signed to RCA Records Nashville on January 15, 2013. He released his debut song Holler If You're With Me in a commercial produced by Pepsi, which aired during the 2013 Grammy Awards on February 10, 2013.
the full-length music video for the song became available online immediately afterwards. The music video for the song used about 100 extras, and focuses on a big bonfire party. The music video was filmed in Smee Valley, California. Power of a Love Song, which was released physically and digitally on March 12, 2013, with Holler If You're With Me as a B-side, served as the album's official lead single to country radio. Tate's self-titled debut album was released on April 23, 2013. The album debuted at number 18 on the Billboard 200 with 17,000 copies in its first week, and received good reviews from critics. After Power of a Love Song reached a peak of number 49 on the Billboard Country Airplay chart, no further singles were released from the album. Subsequently, in August 2013, after winning a record deal with Sony, Stevens split from them in August 2013 to take control of his musical destiny. A Euro OE I really felt it was important to take control of my music, a Euro continued Stevens. A Euro OE everyone on the business side was in a rush to get a record out and consequently I really wasn't a Euro unregistered trademark t able to make the album I wanted to. It really was a pop approach and not a country music approach. And though I think there are some glimpses of what I wanted to achieve in the first album, I realized that if I was going to build on the experience of the show and have a long-term career, I was going to need to follow in the footsteps of Kelly Clarkson and take control of Euro Stevens has revamped his website and gone back in the studio with Grammy-winning producer Blake Chancey to record new sides. A Euro OEI fought to get Blake as my producer first time around. I am comfortable with him in the studio and given the freedom to do what we do, I think we have some great new music a Euro previews of the new music are available for streaming on his website. Personal life, Stevens grew up in Belton, Missouri part of Greater Kansas City and now lives with his wife Ash Lai, whom he met in high school and married in 1997, and their son Hayden and daughter Rilly in Raymore, Missouri. Discography Equals Albums Equals Equals Singles Equals Equals Other Charted Songs Equals Equals music videos equals. References. External links. Official website, Tate Stevens at the Internet Movie Database.